It's smoky! Warbuck. Guten Tag, mein Name ist Brain Muffin. Und heute haben wir einen Ohrback aus Deutschland. Uh, acht Schlinkkeller Rauchbier uh, von Bamburg. So, there we go. Brau Brauerei Keller ba Bamburg. Bamberg. So, there we have a uh, Schlinkkeller. So, these are the smoke beers. And I've done one previously. And the Ohrback is what I'm told is the best one of the lot. I did the Matson before. Uh, so this is a nice, should be, I'm expecting this, since it's an Urbach, what I'm expecting is a nice dark brown beer, a little bit of malt sweetness, and of course their nice smokiness. Let's see how close my expectations are to reality. So, yeah, it's nice, oh, smoke right on the nose, man. I don't know what they use to smoke theirs, but it's really, it almost has the aspects of liquid smoke about it. But I know they use real, I don't know if they use peat, I'm going to have to ask them. I don't think it says on here. This is a little bit more in a pint, so I had to get a bigger glass for today. Oh, it smells good. Oh, wow. That is nice. So you get some of that malt, uh, roasted malt, that you're going to expect from the dark Urbach. And unfortunately, this glass is slightly blue, so this is very dark beer, though. And it's just, oh, it's just, it's just smoke. Just, oh, I mean, the good smoke, like it would use for smoked meats or something. Hmm. So this is a complex sibling to the classic Madsen smoke beer. Exactly like the classic, all its malt, uh, barley malts are killed and smoked by burning beech wood. There we go. Logs in the Schlinkella maltings. It is higher... It's higher smoke malt concentration and the longer maturation in the 14th century beer cellars underneath Bamberg create a taste profile of most intense smokiness, beautiful balanced with deep malt sweetness. So there you go. That's right on the label and that was my expectations just knowing it was a smoked Ullbach. And that's exactly what it delivers. Wow. I, and I imagine... With that much sweetness that you're getting after it's been smoked, if this was not a smoked malt, this beer would be so sickening sweet it would be hard to drink. Oh, but that is just fantastic. So where Budweiser makes a big deal about their supposedly lagering in beech wood, which, which is garbage, they don't. They use the beech wood to smoke the malt in the malt house, oh my goodness, that is just fantastic. So, dogs are barking at something again. Hush. There's another dog barking across the street. So on the nose, nice um, malty aroma, almost like, almost slight biscuity. I mean, I, I don't, it's almost aroma, not a And some of the pale malts that they use in Germany are going to get, give you that slight hint of barley on the nose. That's why, you know, it's almost biscuity, but not, not, not a biscuit malt, more of an aroma malt. Hi, Stubby! We can't go back and put it in the bottle. Oh, but as it opens up, after it's been out of the bottle, the smokiness kind of is less intense, but it, it has a more balance with the smokiness and the malt. Toby, I'm about to throw something at you. That is fantastic. You know, I want what I would have with this as far as food pairings a nice uh, hollowized throat sandwich, a nice German mustard, middle shopper simph, and ham. Oh, that would be awesome. A ham sandwich with this. That and I don't know, that's what we called a half white bread when I lived in Stuttgart. Other places call it something different, but it's a nice, deep, hearty, sticky bread with a real dark brown uh, crust. And it's a loaf, so it's flat. I mean, it's a real loaf of bread, not that crap you buy in the, in the States. I mean, it's you know, it's it's mounded, but it's 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 put into an oven, usually a wood fired oven, flat as opposed to in a pan, and so it flattens out, but it's oh, it's just fantastic. 
that with ham, maybe even salami, but I'm really liking the idea of ham. Sliced ham, maybe some Swiss cheese in there. Oh. So this one came recommended from someone I know named Kyle, um, who sometimes lurks on Facebook, on uh, YouTube. Yeah, since he's something, I forget what. He'll definitely probably watch this one because I'm going to tag him like crazy if he doesn't and doesn't comment. But that is fantastic. I'm glad I started with the Madsen because if I would have started with the Uabach and then went to the Madsen, the Madsen would have been a bit of a disappointment. And that one was good too, but this one is definitely much better. Uh, that's a 5 out of 5 in my book, 100%. That is just fantastic. I mean, 14th century, this guy's been doing this for a little while. What's that, 700 years? Because uh, that was 14th century would be 1300 sometime. I don't think it says anything when they started, but man, oh man, that is fantastic. Prost, Alvita Zane. Danke für Sehen, danke für Schreiben. Tschüss. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Look out, Ellie. Back, back, back her up. Come on, go. You can get some water in a minute. I know, I need to put that... The thing, the telescope down, so we have more space in here. That's what happens when we used it the other day. It just didn't feel like turn it down again.